Welcome to the Sealy Mansion. The mansion itself was built uh, in 1905, and the very few homes would have cost $55,000 at this time. But the Sealy Mansion uh, was built by a family, made their money in patent medicine. Similar company would be Watkins today. And uh, they went to the World's Fair in 1904 to literally buy what is still here in the home. I uh, saw this house in college, clear back in 1970. I was finally able to get a tour in 1981 and purchased it just as we see it today with all the wonderful light fixtures directly by Thomas Edison. And by the way, we are glad that Edison standardized the light bulb socket by 1904 because we still have all of the original light fixtures intact 112, 113 years later. Uh, so we're glad we can go to a local hardware and go get a light bulb. It might scare some people also that we're still using original wiring. Well, the wiring charts were all done by a company called General Electric, Edison's company again. So we feel quite confident that uh, it will continue to be in use for many years. Our fireplace in the Grand Hall here is also very special to our home. This is designed by Tiffany of New York. Wonderful cut ceramic mosaic tile in near mint condition. We do have gas logs in it. It was converted to gas in 1914. So we literally haven't carried out ashes for more than 100 years. Some other special things about the Sealy Mansion are our beautiful piano in, the, in our music room. It is a Steinway. Uh, Marion Seeley uh, uh, was a concert pianist, uh, Helen uh, uh, a chemist, they both went to KU, University of Kansas at Lawrence, and our wonderful piano was personally picked out by Mr. Steinway in New York, clear back uh, 80 or 96 years ago now, and it was brought over by, uh, by the, uh, uh, the company in, in Kansas City, Jenkins Music Company. Of course, there's no radio or television at this time. So, where is a family room? Well, it was the wonderful library. Libraries were always an important uh, part of any larger home. And uh, our books uh, that we have are very special, many first edition or early edition books. Uh, as a little girl, you might be visiting and uh, want to read books uh, by uh, uh, the Five Little Peppers and how they grew. Uh, there's nine volumes. A boy might be reading books by Zane Gray, early Western books. And we would have first edition copies of nearly all of those books. Again, the light fixtures and how beautiful they still are. We do get on a ladder, of course, a couple times a year to dust so we don't have a lot of cobwebs. They've never been chined or polished that we know of. And we're talking about 112 years of continued use now. A lot of entertainment was done in homes. There's a reason that you have 11 bedrooms in your home. Most people didn't have 11 bedrooms, a ballroom, a bowling alley, which our bowling lane is a very, very rare one. In fact, there's only four that's known to exist uh, in the United States. Even the Bowling Hall of Fame does not have it. So all of our guests coming on the tour at the Sealy Mansion always enjoy the, uh, the, the bowling alley. We have been offered a lot of money for it many, many hundreds of thousands, and it cost Dr. Seeley $150, and that was installed, purchased from the World's Fair of 1904. And you know, most ladies don't get to go shopping and have all the money they need to do that. Well, that seemed to be Mrs. Seeley's thing. She paid, bought more at the World's Fair than the house cost to build, and the house was $55,000, which, most people build a home for about $1,000, and she spent 55000 If we have time, let's wander over to the dining room just a moment. Dining rooms were very important rooms. People often stayed all night with the Sealy's and certainly would have had a formal breakfast or a, a wonderful meals in the dining room. And we're very blessed to have all the, the wonderful cut glass, the pressed glass, the beautiful a uh, Haviland, and uh, Mrs. Seeley preferred Haviland. So uh, all six of our major sets are Haviland from Limoges, France. And they all have Edison, uh, all are, have double marking. They always double marked 
all their Havilands. So, and we have more than 3,000 pieces all together of Havilland. As you see, they also like a, a number of things like Steuben, which are very, very nice. Some think, people think this is carnival glass, but it isn't. It's uh, very important. Mrs. Seely also liked to go to Chicago to Marshall Fields and would purchase such things as Picard ware. We're very lucky to have about 15, 20 pieces of beautiful Picard. These are really priceless uh, uh, today. And this is the reason that uh, even though we have tours uh, every day, and I hope they'll continue. This is my home. It's where I live. I saw it in in college and they're finally able to buy it and I really do live here to this day. But one of these days I of course will be gone but we hope someone will continue to want to live in this beautiful home and we hope tours will be exist just as we are today a hundred years from now. Another kind of glassware that Mrs. Seeley really loved was what we call art glass. Art glass uh, became quite popular in the late 1890s and uh, but in about 20 years, it really was, uh, was not very much in use anymore. It was probably too expensive for the day for most people. Uh, our is called Croesus, this is C-R-O-E-S-U-S, -E and it really is very, very lovely. Uh, K-State over here, by the way, really likes it. It has a nice amethyst, a purple tint to the glass with pure gold. Uh, just for instance, my own great-grandmother would never have been able to afford a piece of Croesus. It's that expensive. Mrs. Seeley has more than 50 pieces of Croesus glass. And remember, as we go from all the rooms, uh, we do have uh, 25, 26 rooms in the house. All light pictures are still directly by Thomas Edison. And that's what makes the house really special. When can people come and visit you? Well, our tours are every day, and we start our tours uh, by 10 o'clock in the summer earlier, and uh, we take people t throughout the entire day. On Sundays, we don't open tours till 1 o'clock, so we're glad to have groups, school groups. We have special group rates for schools, and we do have many schools from across Kansas that enjoy uh, coming here. I'm interested in history because our parents took us to historic places as children. I, we were that typical farm family of after the dirt bowl days of Kansas. We sure didn't go to the ocean or the mountains, but we did go to Fort Scott, Fort Larner, Fort Leavenworth, Fort Riley, Council Grove, Topeka Historic Society, Dodge City. So when I saw this house in college, I said, look at that beautiful old home. And I knew that I'd need to be able to buy it someday. But it did take me 11 years to get in the front door and did buy it directly from the daughters, Helen, Mary, and Seeley, and with all the contents, all the beautiful things, for instance, here in the dining room again, all 11 bedrooms are complete with original furniture, uh, and that's what makes the house special. In fact, this is the most complete historic home in the entire state of Kansas, which is a privilege for me to talk about each day. Well, thank you very much for giving us a preview, and we definitely invite everybody to Abilene to come visit the historic Seeley Mansion. Thank you very much. Thank you.